It's the most wonderful time of the year. With the Hi, I'm Emily Duncan. I'm Katie Morrell. And I'm Kate McKee, and we're here to show you how to decorate a mailbox. For each mailbox, you'll start with two swags, two bows, and a large bunch of magnolia. You'll also need wire and gloves, which will be provided in your supplies when you come to pick them up, and some large and small clippers for cutting wire and branches. This is a swag. And there is actually a top and a bottom. So if you turn it around, you will see a loop of wire right here where my finger is. And that indicates up. Here I have two swags that you will need to decorate your mailbox. They are not exactly the same size, and none of them will be the same size. But try and choose two that are similar so it will look better on your mailbox. We highly recommend that you pre-wire your swags before you decorate. What I usually do is I take my box the night before and I go into my garage and I take a very long piece of wire. This is actually folded double. A long piece of wire and I'm going to flip it. You want for it to be really long so that when you tie it around your swag you'll have plenty of slack to wrap around and secure the swag. So what you want to do is you start with your swags to pre-wire. You will see that this is up because we have the loop. And we're going to put it through here. There's the middle. And I'm going to twist it a couple of times just to secure it. And that's it. You are pre-wired. After pre-wiring your swags, you should also pre-wire your bows. They are tied together by what we call chenilles, which are these little red pipe cleaners. But they are not long enough or secure enough to attach to the swag. So you will also need to attach wire. So again, get a nice, fairly long piece of wire. I'll say about like that. And then you just stick it right through the chenille, back of the chenille. and twist it a couple of times. And now your bow is ready to go. Now it's time to decorate the mailbox. And your first decision will be where to place your swags. Every mailbox is different. Some people start down here. We actually prefer to hang them a little bit higher. I think that they look nicer when you get all the magnolia sticking out of them. So that's the way we're going to do this mailbox. Now we're going to wire the swag onto the mailbox. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find a good spot to, to, atta to attach it to. And I think right here looks like a good spot. So we're going to pull the wire through. And then we're going to start securing it tightly a couple of times and then I'm going to lead the wires out so I know where they are when we put the next swag on. Second swag on. So I'm going to go through just about the same spot here. I guess the same little hole in the mailbox. As I said earlier, every mailbox is going to be different so you got to be creative. I'm going to pull it on here. And I'm going to again twist a couple of times tightly so I have a couple of twists there so here's the wire from the first one and we're going to take it around here to secure it very very well and if you have enough you know what you can go back around the more wire the better I'm going to come back and clip these. So now it's time to take the wire from the second swag and we're going to do the same thing. If you have enough again, you can go back around and 
secure it very well. Now I'm going to come back and I'm going to clip these wires so that you don't see them sticking off of the mailbox. Right here you'll see where some of the green wire is showing. Don't worry about that. It blends in with the greenery and you're going to put your bow over it. The, now the next decision you'll need to make is where to place your bow. You can kind of play with it a little bit. What does that look like? No. I don't really want to cover up the pine cones. I think this is a good spot. I think that will look very nice. So I'm going to place my bow here, and then I'm going to figure out a way to wire it on. And there's lots of different options. I think for this mailbox, I'm going to go around the back, and I'm going to wire it around this swag, just to make sure it's extra secure. And get a little fluffy. So the important thing is to make sure your bows are even and secure. So we're going to look over here. Katie, does that look about right, right here? Down a little bit. Down a little? Perfect. Is that perfect? Okay. So we're going to slot it back through. And Katie's going to tie it, let's say, under, underneath this bow. She's going to secure it. Then it's time to do a little fluffing. Just to make sure it looks extra beautiful. And it's very secure. And now it's going to be time to add our magnolia. Now we're going to add the magnolia to our mailbox. I like to bring a pair of loppers with me because you will pick up your magnolia at Harding Academy or you can always clip your own. And usually it needs some sort of trimming. So I like to bring some kind of tool that you can trim with. So I'm going to trim off, let's say, this long stick here, get a few pieces ready. That one looks good. That one looks just right the way it is. That one looks pretty good. That one looks a little long. I'm going to cut him off a little bit. And the more the merrier on the magnolia. The best looking mailboxes have a lot of magnolia in them. And if you're an overachiever, you can also add some berries or some holly. I've known people to do that as well. If you'd like yours to look extra special. So now we're going to go over to the mailbox and we are going to start stuffing magnolia into the mailbox. One reason why it's nice to have all this wire you've wrapped around is you have lots of great possibilities of where to put your magnolia. So I typically like to find a little wire, pull and just start stuffing it down in there. If there's no reason to wire your magnolia, just start stuffing it in there. And try and, you know, try and get as even as you can. And it just takes a little, uh, little practice sometimes with a piece. If you don't like it, then take it out and shift it around. How's that look, ladies? It looks more fluffy. Perfect. Now we're going to pretend this is a dreaded brick or stone mailbox. Some of you will encounter them when you're decorating. Do not fear. They're not that bad. So th this is when it's very important to have really long wire. So what Katie and I are going to do is we are going to place, pretend like this is a mailbox. This is where your, your mailbox will actually be, of course. We're going to place it on where we would like it to be, and then we're going to basically twist them together and secure them together. Some people call this a saddle. Um, sometimes what you have to do with these two, let's let, let it go and see how it's hanging. So sometimes yeah, what you have to do is you have to come back with some of the wire and you have to figure out how to basically secure the thing. You got it. So what I did here was I went behind the stick, which is the top, and I secure that. Katie, why don't you hold this wire? I'm going to do the same over here, this one. I'm going to do the same over in this one. But 
But this is when you have to be a little bit creative and you just have to figure out the best way to get the swags onto the mailbox. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hide, we're going to hide, actually we probably could have done a little better job of getting it, there we go, kind of even them up. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hide the wiring with magnolia. You want to have even extra magnolia for a brick mailbox because you have so much ground to cover with magnolia. So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to start stuffing it in the wire to hide it. And you're going to have to go both ways like Katie's doing. I'm going to put some in this way, she's going to put some in that way. And again, the more the merrier with the magnolia, especially with these big, big mailboxes. Here's one more piece. Why don't we stick that piece in right? Let's see, like maybe like right here. That's good. Voila! If you feel like your swags are not secure enough on these big mailboxes, you may want to go back around with some wire, so get your partner, and we're going to get a big, long piece of wire, and we're going to kind of tuck it up under here, just hide it away somewhere, and we're going to go all the way around the mailbox, and then Katie is going to secure the wire. Okay, so now you're ready to add your bows to your brick mailbox. Uh, same as last time, you're going to be making sure that they're pre-wired. Don't use your chenille ties because they just won't hold it. Um, again, you know, test it out to see where it looks best and where your placement is. Also, make sure that your swags are even on each side before you put your bow on. If one's a little high or a little low, you know, move them around a little bit if you need to. Um, and again, usually the best place I, we think for your bows is just slightly below your pine cone so you don't cover up that decoration. And then you're just going to wrap your wire around behind the swag this time. And then give it a few twists. Make sure it's on there. And then you can actually wrap your wire back around to the front because no one's going to see it. Pull it nice and tight. Twist it a few more times. And then if you have a few short ends left over, you can kind of just wrap them up and tuck them in or you can clip them and then take a few moments to fluff your bow leave it looking really nice and then if you notice any other areas in your swag that seem kind of loose or not secure go ahead and add more wire because again no one's going to see it and more wire is really the key to making these things stay up If you are assigned to decorate a lamp post, most of the time you'll be able to do exactly what we did for the mailboxes. Just be creative, use lots of wire, lots of magnolia, and uh, just check to make sure that everything's secure. If it's something a little different, then again, like we did for our uh, brick mailbox, just be creative. If you need to make a saddle of some sort, uh, that's fine too, and make sure you attach two bows and two swags to each of your lamp posts too. Okay, so for wreaths, if you are going to be delivering one, uh, you treat your bow the same way you do for the mailbox. You want to add your own wire to it. Uh, you may not need nearly as much wire for a wreath as you do for a mailbox or a lamppost, but you want uh, plenty on there so that you can attach it real securely. Um, and then you're just going to add it to, we're going to um, ask everyone to go ahead and start with your bows on the top of your wreath. And again, the way you can tell where the top is, if you turn the wreath over, it will have a little round hook, just like the swags do, and we'll consider this the top. Attach your bow there, and then if you see a hook or a nail on their front door, you can go ahead and hang it. If they don't have anything, just sort of prop it against their door so that they know that it's there, and then the owner can hang it where they would like it. So you'll notice in your packet that you will probably have a few gift cards for some of your orders. If you have the gift card that you need to deliver with, with your wreath or mailbox or lamppost, you just need to take one of the chenilles that come with it, and this is the situation where you can actually use those chenilles, and put it through the hole in the gift card and attach it to the wreath if it's a wreath. 
or if it's a mailbox, sometimes we find that it's easier to attach it to part of the mailbox rather than one of the swags. But if there's not a good place, just find a good place on the swag and attach it there. It's the most wonderful time. It's the most wonderful